Hey everybody, let's talk about knee cave during deadlifts. So it's very similar to squatting. You're just not gonna see it quite as much because the knees don't bend quite as much in the deadlift as they do in the squat. If you want to kind of translate this stuff over to the squat, feel free to pull up my knee cave during squat video. That's probably what it's called, I don't remember. Um, similar principles, right? So a lot of this is dictated by our hip position. And if our hips are really arched back, that tends to drive our hips inward, okay? And uh, that will in turn maybe drive our knees inward is a better way to say it for the purpose of this video. And so with that, we put more stress internally, right? We flatten our feet. And we need to kind of correct that because I like you pushing through your arch, but I don't need your feet totally flat, right? I need you to be able to access all your muscles. So instead, if, if you know, somebody, I'm gonna show you my booty, but if somebody is deadlifting, it might be pretty subtle. I might be, I'm gonna back up even more here. I might be here, this is too far out, this is too far in, but you can't, like, it's so subtle, right? This is right, this is wrong. Now, I know it's subtle, but I know you can also see it. And now that I've shown it to you, maybe you can take a look at your videos when you're watching your deadlifts and say, you know what, I think my knees are caving. Or, you know, you know maybe at some point we'll talk about the knees falling too far outward, because that's also a thing that can happen, okay? Um, other things to do, watch your feet, right? So if I'm really, really flat and I see my heels are kind of like turning inward like this, they're falling inward like this, then I'm gonna wanna fix that. I need to get some stability in that foot. So one, I need to set the foot, but two, I also need to make sure I'm not driving that position from my hips. Okay, so we're looking for a straight line from a hip through the knee all the way down to the ankle. Okay, so that's your end goal. Whatever you gotta do to get there is good. Now, first and foremost, what I'm trying to do is I'm just gonna say, hey, I want you to turn your knees outward a little bit while you're doing this deadlift. And I need to just make sure you can get in that position. If you can, then this is usually fine and you just gotta go slow and you gotta relearn how to do this lift. If you can't do that, usually you don't need another exercise, usually you need a podiatrist. So look at your feet. If your arches are really high and your, your feet are uh, uh, kind of rolled outward, you might need some help under the medial surface, under the inside arch. Uh, if your feet are really flat and caving you in, you might need a little bit more help uh, supporting the arch of the foot. If your shin bones are bowed, uh, yeah, like this, I'll give you a black background here. Like this, instead of being straight like normal, they might be bowed like this. That's gonna direct your foot inward because that's how the bone is bending. Foot goes inward, it wants to roll out. And so to protect it, your body just collapses that foot. And that's just gonna be persistent unless you can find some sort of support under the medial side of the foot. Um, you know, I, I have a guy who has the same issue going on. So every time he lands when he runs, he lands in a supinated position and the foot then collapses hard inward, driving the knee inward and it's putting extra medial stress on the knee. Okay, so consider these things. You might wanna go see somebody who isn't a movement expert. Maybe they are a foot expert and they can help you out. Um, <laughs> What were we even talking about? This is great. <laughs> Knee caving, good. So some people, one last point I wanna make is some people will say that your knees are caving because, uh, I, sorry, that tangent, that was just funny. Um, some people are saying that the knees are caving because the glutes are weak. Generally, my experience is that the glutes might be kinda weak, but normally they're just appearing weak because they're not they're not in a position to where they can work, right? They're working from, they're overly long or overly short. And in those positions, our muscles can't generate their own force very well. And so you're relying then on joints and ligaments and other passive structures to keep you supported. It's like the medial knee, okay? Like the inside of the knee there. So if you do have this knee cave during your deadlifts, try to set your knees outward a little bit, make sure your foot pressure is pretty even, and if you need more help, um, 
talk to a podiatrist.